Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is Saturday, it's fall. I'm trying to find my fall legs. Like, I don't know if this happens to you guys, but whenever things like change and turn around, like a change of season, I always have to like find my new legs for that season. I'm trying to figure out where we're going and what we're doing and, and today, I've got nothing planned. So I thought today is the best day to do all of our fall baking in our life. It'll be like nothing happening, nothing happening. And then all of a sudden a million things happening on the same day. So if I can figure out and schedule all the things I need to get done for a day that I have nothing planned, then I think that's great. So anyway, today Sam and I are headed off on our date shopping. Yeah, Sam and I am waiting for Sam, waiting for the slow people in our family. Finally. You have a lot of stuff to do. I got nothing to do. to do. I got a lot of stuff. Lots of yard cleaning. Look at all yeah. the I uh, know. You're gonna, I'm gonna cut you guys, you do you have those Asian beetles, those little black and red bugs? I read on Facebook the other Look day. Look at them all up there now. Uh, I know. I can't even get up there. Uh, I know. Sam's been spraying them. It, apparently, if you go out at night, you'll see a bunch of like clusters of them all over the place. Anyway, we got infected with them They're a few years ago. Night, no, so before it gets hole. dark. No, they form little clusters. They all get together. And, yeah, and that's when I've been spraying them. Like, yeah, like so fire. he's been Killing spraying them. them and they've been because... dropping like flies, but there are millions of them. It's like an infest infestation. And you know, what's going to happen soon is that they're going to be like, they're so bad. Last year it was the caterpillars, right? Yeah. Those yeah, caterpillars yeah. that were eating our trees. Well, no, gypsy moths. Yeah, now we have these awful red and black. I'll show you when yeah, we get home. All the Asian beetles is what I call them. Box. But the, they're called something different. But Boxwood anyway. Boxwood bugs or something. Boxwood bugs. Boxwood beetles. Or... Yeah, I don't know. They're just awful. Anyway, Sam and I are going on our date, our Saturday morning date. It's early. We're going. Where are we going? Shopping. Shopping. <laughs> That's all we get to do together. <laughs> There's one right there on our car. You guys see it? He's about to fly off. A little black thing. Yesterday, Sophie said, hey, I did a thing. Comment if you notice. Turn around. <laughs> Do you guys notice? Shut up, Gabby. She's just learning. When Gabby turned 13, she got into makeup. And then when she turned 15, she's like, who has time for makeup? And it got 13 and a half. 13 oh, and a half. Yeah. <laughs> did not last long. <laughs> yeah, did not last long. She always makes me laugh. Gabby is funny. Too anyway, scary. so suddenly Sophie put makeup on yesterday and then all of a sudden she's like, can you give me some makeup when you're at the store? So I got her some stuff. What did we get, Sophie? Um, two mascaras, pink lip gloss, a little case, a brush. Yeah, they didn't have very much there. Otherwise, I would have got her some more stuff. But it's almost her birthday, and if she gets into it, foundation then... Foundation and blush, or powder stuff. Yeah, powder foundation. Hmm. You want some? Yeah, when you're 13 and a half, you realize that who has time for that? Anyway, this is all the stuff that I got for us to bake. I got flour and sugar and marshmallows and walnut, brown walnut sugar, though. shortening, vanilla... Gabby was very upset that I smushed the marshmallows. Um, I also got, oh shoot, uh, some tart shells. I thought we could do those. Some chocolate chips. Oh, and I also got this. Yes! Is that a good enough color? Yes! So she wanted to dye her hair. I'm pretty sure that's the last time Gabby dyed her hair too. She I, had her hair no. pink last because I had pink dye. Oh, shoot. It has everything in it. I just wanted to show them. This is the color. This is like a color that looks really good on both of my girls. So I dyed my hair. I wanted to dye my hair purple because there's a thing on Snapchat. And then pink two years ago. And it's still there. I still have the color in it. Yeah. More pink than purple. Let's see. Turn it around. Turn it around. It's going to be purple. I'll do this next well, time. Well, you I can kind of see it. I'll do this next time I have a bath. Oh, I think you have to put it on dry hair. You have to read about it. Yeah. You put it in. Like the night that I have to have a bath. I have a little bit of color in there. It's coming out though. But yeah. You can Two see years it. later. Yeah. You can totally see it. So I also got um, some chocolate chips. Some. I didn't put my hair on because I didn't know how. Some vegetable oil. Some vanilla. Don't close your eyes. 
some. But did I do good with my makeup? Yeah, it looks good, Sophie. Some icing sugar and then some butterscotch chips. So that is all the stuff that I got for baking. We also have like some apples and some stuff at home already that I that we're gonna use. That is for our Thanksgiving day baking. And Gabby got coffee. <laughs> I also got some breadcrumbs for her turkey dinner. Um, a bunch of bacon and just other stuff that I needed for the freezer. And toilet paper because you always need toilet paper. So these are those bugs that I was telling you about. These ones are all dead. Sam's been spraying them. These ones are alive. They're everywhere. So Sophie wants you guys to see her hair. It looks adorable. I curled it because it dried. Yeah, so she Took me an hour. Yeah, that's good though. And anyway, it was way more curly before and just as she keeps moving it it falls out i forgot to get hairspray at the i'm not using hairspray i love hairspray i don't it makes my hair stiff i really want to open this door that we have in the arena when we're like down in here working so we have the light but sam ties it ties it it has these little locks to keep it from opening in the winter but he ties it down too a penny <laughs> I just don't like it. I hate that it's dark in here. I hate that it's winter and it's dark already. The apples are under his blanket because I don't want her So to Sophie has apples for treats to train Willow and she put them under here because she doesn't want Gracie to find them. <laughs> yeah, because Gracie cannot smell. Yeah, Gracie just can't smell. <laughs> Why are you so, slow today? so yesterday I was telling you guys that that our girls are like hardly afraid of anything especially on the ground because we work with them so much or at least we're always with them and we're always like exposing them to stuff and and they're just so confident and happy in their environment like they and they trust us you can totally tell the difference between chino and the girls just in like mentality and all of it and i think it's from all the groundwork and stuff that we've done with the girls so Today, Gabby is gonna show us what she can do with Chino Bambino. Nothing. <laughs> Why? I mean, the only thing he does kind of good is move over. Let's see, let's see him move over. I don't know if he'll do it now. He will also eat your clothing. Don't do that, he'll get soft all over. That's good. She's so nice. <laughs> she's so cute. <laughs> he thinks he's going out for dinner. Yeah. That's why. Oh no, I know what he's good at. What's he good at? Chewing stuff? Yeah. Bowing? No. That's the shoes. <laughs> yeah. He is very good at losing shoes. No shoe. The, the second one is off? No. Just the one that he lost. Too bad the second no one wasn't shoe. off. There's one shoe in I challenge you to teach Chino. Yeah, this is never going to happen, so. All right, he can play tug of war, Gabby says. Let's see, his big, Chino's big claim to fame. He won't even let me put my foot up this time. Only when he wants to, though. Oh, he doesn't. She doesn't chew all the time. Wait, you're tall. You're so weird to pet when you're, wow, you're tall. Such a tall girl. She's going to be a good girl. So now she listens to step up. Everybody is working with, huh? Everyone was working with their horses and Penny was outside and that's the thing with Penny. She doesn't like hang out with the other horses that much. Like she's a loner and her old owner told me she was and I've noticed the same thing. But when I walked close to the door, she came in so she could stand with me. Yeah. <laughs> she has like such attitude though. So, oh look, he can smile. <laughs> He's just smelling. He's like, oh, there's girls in here. <laughs> oh, you're such a goofy boy. When we bought Chino, he didn't have any shoes on. And he was really good for six months. And then we, hey, what are you doing? I'm pretty sure that that is not allowed. So he didn't have shoes on for six months. And it was great. And then we had an accident at home. His feet got too long while we were waiting for the farrier. And we didn't have access to the farrier to call him to come sooner. And we were in like this group of people. And he comes from really far. And I, we weren't the ones that had the phone number to book it. If he is, was any other horse, he probably would have been fine. Um, do you just step up? What is anywhere now? <laughs> 
he probably would have been fine, except for that he has funny feet the way that they grow out, and he ended up getting stone bruises. And then, because he had stone bruises, our farrier said, like, put shoes on, and that'll get him going, like, faster, which you should never do faster with horses, I feel like. We created a situation where it was just easier to put shoes on him. I wish we hadn't, I wish we had waited for his stone bruises to heal and not put shoes on because the shoes didn't even make any difference at all, did they? He was still completely lame the whole summer, even we... Yeah, that's what he does in the stall. Whoa, Chino! <laughs> You've got some skill! <laughs> Chino can do that. Alright, let's see Chino do that. Anyway, ever since we put shoes on him, it's been just one problem after another, and I really feel like even if we take them off and it takes him a while to recoup from that, I think that the, in the long run, it could be the best thing for him. It's only since we put shoes on him that we've had problems. Before he had shoes, we didn't have any problems. All right, let's see your horse step up. He will fall on his face. He's a penny. Oh my God, get the ball. Get the ball. Penny's moving closer. She's like, I know crazy things are happening in this arena. Over in this corner, Gracie is not discovering where the carrots are. <laughs> Don't get them. <laughs> not carrots, apples. <laughs> All right, let's see. <laughs> She's still looking for them. Yeah, he does, but... He would bite your hand, though, thinking that it's, like, something that he can chew. You almost got him right up into the barrel. Could be up the barrel. Not gonna kill him. He's right behind him, though. That's easy. He just wants to go eat Yeah, I know. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Your head's too heavy. I used to give him my finger, and he didn't hold it between his teeth. Way. But now I don't. There he goes. No halter! She finally did it with no halter! So now let's see, you just say step up. That was impressive. A horse that can... So you need to like teach her down now. Bello, down. Teach her down. 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 All right, can she do it without a, without a halter? Say step up. That's amazing, I actually. I know. We are okay. Do you know what? Tomorrow. Why don't you stand like that? It's not wide enough. Tomorrow we'll get one of the tires and we'll bring it in here and we'll fill it with sand. I don't have any more. Tires. Treats. Okay, tell her to get down. I need my treats. Down. Down. Yeah, good girl. Oh, it was Penny that told her. All right, I challenge you, Gabby. I challenge you until Chino goes back. After he gets his shoe on. Go. Oh. I challenge you to teach him one thing. One thing. So tonight we'll look it up and see what we can teach him and we'll start tomorrow. Hey, go. <laughs> this is Will's it can get chaotic when all the horses are in the arena together. This is Will's favorite trick. I lose balance. So yeah, so I think it's time to like move on now. She's got that one. Like but she's so cute. She she's only tall. needs like three days to figure out a, a trick. She's, she's so cute when she's tall. Oh no, she's so cute. Look how furry Willow's getting already. So much fur. 
<laughs> Penny goes around and finds anything that's like, I just sat that, that jump standard up so that I could sit on it. And she goes around and she makes sure there is absolutely hey. nothing standing up. I, I wish you were sitting on it while she pushed it. Tomorrow, we're gonna put this in there and we're gonna fill it with dirt. I just have to figure out where to get some dirt. Is this what takes you so long when you go out to cut the grass? You just sit there and look on your phone? No, I need to uh, see we get strong Wi-Fi signal here, but in the barn we don't. So I have to get another Wi-Fi extender. Yeah. So what I I'll show I'll show later in the video, another video how I have it set up. In another video when he has it all I'll set up. I'll show you where I set it up, but I have like cameras everywhere. Uh, uh, three different. He's really cold and he looks dead. Was he's he in not, the, was he was in the in water? The oh. Yeah. I'll have three Wi-Fi extenders set up so that they can mesh together and that way if one's not working the other ones will work. So, so then we can just sit in our house and watch like yeah, the footage from much. Wow. The barn, hopefully eventually. That's so super but cool. I need, I think a, I need, to I need another Wi-Fi extender. Seeing if there's an app for But normally it. they're not. So cold. Sam, where yeah. can I where can Sophia and I get dirt? Hold on. Give me this. Apparently Give me your thumb. dirt in there. Thumb. Penny wants out. <laughs> Yes, did you guys hear? She's really annoying in the morning. Don't run me over. Oh my God. What the heck is wrong with you? They were gonna run me over. They're like, you're in my space. <laughs> this is a dumb idea. Oh my God. Whoop. footsteps are scary. <laughs> yeah. If you ever hear Gino thundering toward you, it's scary. There was a time though where <laughs> I did not understand horses at all and everything they did terrified me. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the 